just used to talk, but be scared when I blow. EOS did before I go to the show. Ain't it but you like that put fear in myself? Huh, Miami for leg. Yeah, ooh, he fucking with the best. I'm gonna put in this video, I will be showing you guys how I made my oversized Miami Heat Vice jersey into this pretty fitted laced up dress jersey. So make sure you guys continue to watch to see each part on how you could make this cute jersey too. So I started off with finding a dress that fitted me you know in a way that I really liked it and what I did was I bought basically an inch from the jersey to the dress and then I had cuts the outline of the dress on the jersey and what I would like to say is when you guys cut the jersey make sure you got sturdy scissors and it's not like scissors that can't cut through the fabric and also when you're cutting make sure you be careful because I did cut myself a lot of times making this jersey but it was definitely worth it and this dress all together took me I would say about four hours to make but the process was definitely worth it <laughs> that basically with this process it's basically a whatever you do to one side you do to the other so that's the reason why you're gonna see a lot of consistency with this dress <laughs> So now that I am done with cutting both sides of the jersey, I basically opened the jersey so now it's two sides and I am currently folding one side of the jersey so I can make a crease. And what you're going to want to do is grab an iron and with that crease just iron it so it can be a full crease and you're going to need that crease for the pill and stick. Once you have created your crease, you're going to want to open that side and then just lay the pill and stick on the side by the crease and just roll it down. And once you've rolled it down, you're just going to cut it at the end of the dress. Perfect. So now that you have cut the bottom part of the pill and stick, you're going to want to refold the part that you made the crease on and then you're just going to give it, you know, some more heat. So apply the iron onto it so it could be bonding on the other side of the sticky part with the jersey. And once you have applied that heat on there, you're just going to open up that flap one more time and then you're just going to take the white part off from the sticky part and when you take that off be very 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 careful because it is very sticky once that heat gets onto that tape it is OVA so take your time be patient and it definitely will come out the way you expect it to with patience trust
And I would also like to add that I did get this idea from my older cousin Alexis because when I was younger, she would always wear these types of dresses and I would always admire them. But I swam across two videos on YouTube, which I put the videos in the link in the description um, below. Um, basically, the videos taught me how to make this dress on my own. So if you guys want to check those videos out, you surely can. Once you are done with putting the pill and sticks on both the front and the back of the jersey, this is how it will look. And as you see, it is a more defined crease up in the side versus um, you just cutting it and leaving it that way. And so right now I'm showing you guys the eyelids that I got from Walmart. It was basically the one fourth um sides and these strings you could get from the hardware section in walmart and um everything that i use will definitely be in the link in the description but right now i'm showing you the tools that you basically use and you don't need both of them i just got both of them so right now what i'm doing is aligning the eyelids onto the dress just to see where I could mark the mark at to poke a hole into the dress. <laughs> So 8 times 4 is 32 is how many eyelids I used all together. Whatever you do, please, please, and I repeat, please, please do not be like me and mark your jersey with a yellow marker but luckily i was able to get it out with water and soap and it came off easily but whatever you do do not make the hole big because the eyelids will definitely just fall right through so try your best to make the hole as small as possible <laughs> to put both the eyelids top and bottom there but the black thing that I just showed you is the bottom of the eyelid tool <laughs> that at the bottom of the eyelids put the hammer thingy on to the top of that eyelid tool to basically combine the eyelids and it's that simple and that easy but that right there is the bottom you would know because that's the flat part and the top of the eyelid would be more skinnier because the bottom is wider <music> so for your final results the dress should definitely look like this and you just gotta lace up the dress at the end like you would with a shoestring i am very excited to say that i will be wearing this dress for my 21st birthday in miami so if you guys want to see how i put the outfit together be sure to follow me on Instagram and like, comment, and subscribe if you definitely mess with this video and share it, of course. And if you guys made a dress just like this, let me know. Tag me in your little pictures or whatnot so I can see too. I just just talk, but be scared when I blow. EOS did before I go to the show. Ain't it but to light up, put fear in myself. Huh, Miami triple X, yeah. Ooh, he fucking with the best. I'm gonna put the